Hello everyone, this is Aditya and today we are going to solve one of the toughest question of JE Advanced Physics. So let's see how we will solve it and please do like, share, subscribe my channel and now let's start with the video. Okay, so let's see what does the question state. Of course I will display the question but of course we have to read it, right? So the question states that uh, we have a body or assembly uh, which is comprised of uh, two discs and they are of course connected and uh, the disc is uh, rotating with the angular speed of omega right and due to the rotation since it is without slipping so that is why it is revolving around the axis z right as per the question. And here are some values L and uh, A, they are the radii and the distances, which we will see it later. But first of all, while learning the question, let's see what is happening. This uh, we can think that figure something like this, okay? So while it is revolving around the z axis, it will form two circles one is the big circle and one is the small circle, right? And uh, when it is revolving, of course, it is rotating also about its axis, right? Like this, okay? And this is your z-axis, right? And this is how the motion of the body is happening, right? And now let's check the option. And it is a multiple correct answer question, so we have to be careful, right? Of course. So let's see. So let's check the option number A. It is states that the center of mass of the assembly rotates about the z-axis with an angular speed of omega by 5. Let's see. Well, notice that the rotation is happening without uh, slipping and the body is of course a rigid body. So because of which the angular speed of the center of mass will be equal to the angular velocity of all the points on the body, right? Which means if I calculate about this point also or any point, the answer will be same, right? Okay. So let's calculate about this point, right? So what is the angular velocity of this point? It will be equal to V is equal to omega A, this point. Right? Okay. Let this be equation number one for now. Okay. And when it is uh, revolving around the point Z or it is rotating, right? So what is happening is that uh, uh, I am not considering this, this for now. Just understand this. So it is covering some distance, right? And we know that V is equal to R omega, right? And what is the radius of the big circle? It is equal to R, right? When the disc is uh, rotating, then it is covering a radius R and it is this distance, right? Okay. So how do we calculate the value of R? Well, of course, this angle is 90 degree, right? So we can use the Pythagorean theorem or Pythagoras theorem is equal to A square plus L square and we are given the value of L as root 24. So let's substitute. So we get A square plus root 24 A whole square and R is equal to 5A, right? Okay. So it is equal to 5A into omega about Z axis, right? Okay. So this velocity and this velocity should be equal, right? Hence we have 5A omega Z is equal to omega A which means omega z is equal to omega by 5 which means your first option is absolutely correct right okay now let's see the b option the magnitude of the angular momentum of uh, center of mass of the assembly about the point o is 81 ma square omega well we have to check this okay let's see so first of all we need to calculate the position of the angular momentum I mean the position of the center of mass. So suppose R C O M is equal to, of course, uh, this is uh, a mass M and this is a 4M mass, so we can absolutely find the value is equal to M times uh, L plus 4M times 2, yeah, L and uh, L upon M plus 4M, right? Okay. 
So this is equal to 9 m l by 5 m, which is equal to 9 by 5 l, right? This is your equation number one. Okay. And we know that l c o m about o is equal to mass times the r vector of c o m comma r cross v c o m about o, right? So we have calculated the value of r, of course. Now we need to evaluate this v c o m about o. So v is equal to r omega about z, and we know omega by z, right? I mean omega z. So what was r? R is equal to well now r is the radius about that point, about center of mass. So I have to erase this thing to understand it better. Or let it be like this. I will explain. So let me explain it over here. It will be somewhat like this, right? The center of mass will lie somewhat over here at nine l by five. Okay. And this is the radius of the circle which we are talking about. And this will be also theta since this is also equal to theta, right? Alternate angles, of course, right? So if this is theta and this is your hypotenuse, so we have to find this r. So r will be equal to simply nine l by five cos theta, right? Okay. Let's solve this. So we get nine uh, l by five cos theta into omega by five, since omega z is equal to omega by five, right? And uh, cos theta we can simply find from this. Cos theta is equal to l by r. L is equal to root twenty four a, and uh, this is equal to five a. So we have root twenty four by five. So it is equal to nine l by five into root twenty four by five into omega by five. Right? Okay. So now we have all the values. We can just put it over here. So we get L is equal to, of course, L C U A M about O is equal to what is the mass? It is equal to five times m m plus four m, right? Into what is the radius? Radius we, I mean, the distance. This is the distance. We have the center of mass is the position of center of mass nine by five into L into what is the velocity? It is nine L root twenty four. Into omega by five into five into five, it is one twenty five, right? This is the case. This five and this five gets cancelled, so you have eighty one m omega l square root twenty four upon one twenty five, right? And l square is equal to twenty four a square, so you have eighty one m omega into twenty four a square root twenty four by one twenty five. So you have eighty one m omega a square twenty four root twenty four by one twenty five, right? And this is the extra factor. So that is why this option is wrong, right? Now we are coming to the C, and this is the trickiest part over here, right? Since uh, it had uh, something which had to involve like something which was not in the syllabus of JEE. -E. That is why it was a lot controversial thing, right? At that time, so we will see it. So let's see the part C now, and it states that uh, the magnitude of the angular momentum of the assembly about its center of mass is seventeen by two m a square omega. Let's see. L of body with respect to center of mass is equal to well. Now the tricky part is there. When you are calculating this, uh, the angular momentum, in this case, there are two kinds of uh, rotations over here. The first is due to this omega, and the second is due to the omega z. The first one is due to the spinning, and the second one is due to the rotation. Right? Understood? You can write it as L one plus L two. Right? Right? Okay. So this one is due to the spinning. Right? And this is due to the rotation. And of course, spinning it is very easy to find out. It is I one omega plus I two omega plus 
L2, right? And it is equal to M R square, M1 R1 square by 2 into this plus L, I mean L2. It is M times what is the radius? It is A by 2 plus this distance, uh, I mean this radius is 2A. 4m into 2a whole square by 2 right and uh, into omega plus l2 right so you get uh, m a square plus 16 m a square by 2 into omega plus l2 hence we have 17 m a square omega by 2 plus l2 and the controversy was that the calculation of L2 was not in a syllabus. Because generally when you have calculated the angular momentum in all the cases, the angular velocity and angular momentum were in the same line. I mean they were parallel. But in this case, they are not parallel, right? That is the problem. So, but still L2 is not zero, which means C is automatically rejected. Since it is 17 by 2 ma square omega, which means that L2 is zero, but this is not possible, right? And what do I mean by L2 exactly? Let me explain that. Then we will move to the D part. Okay. Let me tell. So let's see. Well, the body is rotating about the Z axis, which means that uh, it will have some omega and we calculate it as omega Z and it is along the Z axis, right? But the problem is that the body is like this. Okay, it is not like uh, it is perfect, it is not perfectly aligned, right? In general case, they should be parallel so that the angular momentum is uh, parallel to omega. Suppose this is your omega, so which means angular momentum is parallel to the omega, right? But in this case, the angular momentum is going like this, and uh, this is your L, and the omega is going like this, omega z, which means omega z is going like this and omega and uh, the angular momentum is going like this and this is your theta right and it is due to the orientation right and from here the problem arises right and from this you can't calculate this is of course l2 right l2 but still if you calculate its component l2 in the z axis l2 cos theta This is your L2 cos theta, which tells that uh, the angular momentum along the z axis is positive. Why? Because it is along the omega, I mean the angular velocity, right? So that is why the angular momentum along the z axis is positive. We can still conclude that since it is in the same direction of omega z, right? And of course, the calculation part is not in your syllabus, it is something which you study. In your BTEC, right? When you will do BTEC or uh, BSc, right? Now let's see the D part, and it states the magnitude of the component of the Z component of L vector is 55 m a square omega, where L is the angular momentum of the assembly with respect to O. Okay, with respect to O. So which means this looks somewhat like this, right? Okay, this is your O, this is your Z. So this one, let me write, let me draw it. This is your L1, right? Why L1? Because it is uh, the angular momentum due to spinning, right? So this is your omega and this is your L, right? Okay, this was your omega. So from the thumb rule, you get that it will be along this direction, right? And uh, this was your uh, L C O M about O, right? You can bring it over here since it is a vector. L C O M about O, right? And uh, yeah, now let's calculate the L vector. It is equal to L C O M about O plus 
एल वन वैक्टर प्लस एल टू वैक्टर राइट Of course, you don't know how to calculate L2 vector, but still, you know it is a positive quantity in the z-axis. Its component in z-axis is a positive quantity, right? And we have to evaluate it in the z component only, right? So this is your theta, and uh, this is also your theta, right? Okay. So now let's evaluate this. Of course, we need to take the component along the z-axis. So we have L vector is equal to L C O M. Right into the cos theta, right? Plus L one sine theta plus L two in the z axis, L two along z axis, right? I have removed the vector sign for now. Okay. Now you have to evaluate this. You we have calculated these values, right? Sine theta is equal to one by five. Since cos theta is equal to root twenty four by five, right? So what was LCM about? Oh, it was equal to eighty one m a square omega into twenty four root twenty four by. And of course, it will be a negative sign over here because it is in the negative direction. It is in the positive direction. Okay. By one twenty five, right? Minus L one. What we have calculated L one? It was equal to seventeen by two m a square omega into sine theta. It is equal to one by five, right? Plus L two in the z direction, right? And of course, it was a cos theta over here also. So into twenty root twenty four by five minus this quantity, right? Now let's evaluate this. Eighty one m a square omega into this and this. It is equal to twenty four. Into twenty four by twenty five into twenty five, right? One twenty five is equal to five into twenty five, and five into five is twenty five into twenty five, right? Minus seventeen by two m a square omega. Of course, you can write seventeen by ten, right? Plus l two in the z direction. You take m a square omega common over here. You get. Eighty one into twenty four by twenty five into twenty four by twenty five for this whole square I should write minus one point seven plus L two Z. So we have this M A square omega eighty one into twenty four by twenty five whole square minus one point seven plus L two in the Z direction, right? Okay. So notice that uh, it is strictly greater than fifty-five a square m omega, right? So when you add l two in the z direction, of course the whole expression will still be greater than fifty-five m a square omega y. Because L two Z is a positive quantity, right? Which tells that D is also incorrect. So in this only A is correct, right? So I hope you understood the problem. And if you understood and learned something new, then please like this to my channel. And bye bye. Take care.